Since you are watching this, I guess your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to open up one of recently installed this server. The problem will start because the TDXM SP29.dll is missing from your computer. This is a somewhat critical error and all you need to do is watch this video to the end and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I will be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So, Let's begin. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for dtdfm.dll. You can choose any results you want. I'm choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. As you can see, if you download option based on the architecture and version, to know your architecture and version, click on start and search for system information. As you can see, my is 64 bit and I'm updated to the recent Windows update, so I'll be downloading the first one. I strongly recommend you to read this page, it has other fixing matter also. As the download complete, hit open. The downloaded chief has two files one is the dealer, the other one is CD. To move the DLL, first open this PC, then local DXC, Windows, and find your folder name System32. This is the home of 32 bit DLL files. And click on the downloaded chip, drag the DLL, and drop. I have already done this, so it is asking me to replace. And click on continue to give administrator access. Before we go ahead, let's check if the file is properly placed. By typing the file name, we can see the file is perfectly placed in 32 bit folder. So, the job is done for 32 bit users. You can go and restart your computer. This is only applicable for 64 bit users like me. Open this PC one more time. Local DXC, Windows, and find a folder name SysWall64. And similarly, drag and drop. Check this one more time. Yeah, the file is placed in 64 bit folder 2. And finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if there are developers, you need to download and install Microsoft DirectX or Microsoft Office your website and install your program again. And that will surely fix it. And that's all. If you follow me step by step, you'll no longer have that problem left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.